Hello, this is Ryan from Kixie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up an IVR to route incoming calls to the correct team or individual. Also known as a phone tree, an interactive voice recording, or IVR, is a voice recording with a menu of numbered options allowing your customers to select the specific department or individual they want to be connected with. If you haven't set up an IVR for your own company, chances are you've been on the receiving end of an IVR. After calling into a company's main number, a recording gives you the options to press 1 for sales, press 2 for support, and so on. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up an IVR inside of Kixie. It's really easy to do, and there is a lot you can do with our IVR setup. So first step is you're going to navigate to app.kixie.com. That's app.kixie.com. And this will take you to the Kixie dashboard. From here, if you have manager or admin permissions, you're going to see this manage tab here. Then you're going to scroll down to inbound and then IVRs right here. This will take you to your IVR page. So the first step to setting up an IVR is planning out the options you want to have for your IVR. An IVR can even layer multiple IVRs within Kixie where you have one IVR going to another menu. And the best way to prepare for all this is really to sketch this all out and visualize where these branches will go. So you can write out a copy of, we want one to go to sales, we want two to go to support, we want three to go to this user's direct line, so on and so on. And once you have this sketch and this idea and understanding of how you want this IVR to operate for your business, this is where we can go in and actually create the IVR inside of Kixie. So once again, we're in the Kixie dashboard here. We're under manage, we're under inbound. We clicked on IVR. Now this is your page of IVRs. If you already have one created, you can click on any of these to go in and edit them. But if we're creating a new IVR, that's where we're gonna click this add button here. Once you click add, you'll see this set of options to come up. And we're going to give our IVR a name first. So let's say Ryan Test IVR. Next, you'll have your greeting type here. This is going to be the messaging that plays when this IVR phone number is called. So there's a few options here. There's text to speech where you can say, hello, you've reached company name IVR. Please press one for sales, two for... And this will be spoken by a text-to-speech program. So that's your first option. You can also record an MP3 and upload MP3s is another option. Or you can even record now directly in to Kixie by clicking record now. So if we click this, we're gonna say, hello, You've reached our company's IVR. To be connected to sales, press one. To be connected to support, please press two, et cetera, et cetera. Then if you click stop recording, you'll have a playback option to listen back to your IVR. So those are your three options for how you can set up the greeting where when you call the IVR, it will read out that messaging. The next step is the no answer action. This is what happens after the messaging has been read out loud. So if it goes through press one, press two, press three, and it reaches the end of your IVR, by default it is set to hang up, which will end the phone call for the person who is calling in. You have some other options as well. You can route your IVR to go to another IVR. You can route to go to a group, you can route to go to an agent, or you can route it to go to a queue. And by default, that's on hang up. So next step here is the IVR hours. This is gonna be the time where this IVR is available to receive calls. So by default for our business currently, it's set to 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And that's going to follow your business time zone that you have in your general account settings 
So we're set to PST time, so this is for PST. You can also use custom hours by toggling this off. Then you click here, you can click clear, and we have a range of presets here, 24 hours, nine to six. And this is where you can drag and drop to create IVR hours. So maybe we're open nine to five, and we want that to be the IVR time. We'll set it to be that, Monday through Friday. And then the outside IVR actions, this is where it will go to another line if it is outside these hours. So similar to a no answer action, you can go to an IVR, a group, a queue, or another agent. So we'll set it to hang up here if it's outside of hours. Last step here is the routing for setting up the actual IVR settings. So this is where you direct where each number is going to go to. We'll click this plus icon to add some additional spots. Let's add four. And you can see here that you can use any number zero through 9,999. Most commonly, people just use one, two, three, four, and so on. But some examples of where this might be beneficial is if you say, if you know your party's extension, please dial it now. And that's where you can add in the extension and whatever you need to set up, you can do so with zero through 9,999. So next we click the action for where this is going to go. So let's say pressing one goes to a queue. And let's say it's going to go to DS. So in this example, maybe press one for support. So CS voicemail, press two. Maybe this will go to a, a group that we have called sales. And then press three. Maybe that will go to another IVR with another set of actions. And then we can delete action four. And very briefly to share what these different options are, if you are not currently familiar, a ring group will route to a group of agents, either their external phone number or their Kixi phone number. And that can be done linearly in a linear round robin way or a simultaneous way where everyone is ringing at the same time. Queues are also a way to call a large group of people where it connects with the next available rep. This is best used when there is a large group of people that are being called. This is also very common for inbound calling. That is usually the best option for inbound calling, such as a support line or a general sales line. And then going to an agent will go directly to that agent or directly to that user. And then an IVR is what we are setting up right now. So that's the different options and what those are that you have available to you. Great, so our IVR is set up. We're going to click save here. And now you will see the IVR in your IVRs here. So we have one more step to set this IVR live. We have just set all these settings as needed inside the IVR. And the last step is to assign a phone number to the IVR. So we're going to navigate to inbound, or excuse me, numbers. So manage, and then numbers, and then Kixi numbers right here. From here, we'll see if we have an unallocated phone number, meaning a number that's not assigned to anyone. You can also click add right here and type in the area code to purchase a new number for your IVR. Or additionally, if you are porting your numbers in from another platform, you can reach out to our support team through our support chat, which is available through this question mark here and send chat. Or you can reach out to support at kixi.com and they can help you get your numbers ported in for this IVR. So once we have a phone number we know that we want to assign to the IVR, let's say it was this number right here. We're gonna click on the phone number itself, click number four, IVR. We'll select the name of the IVR. We can give it a name if needed for organizational purposes. So Ryan's first, IVR, example, 
We'll click save. And now if we search for this. This phone number is live. And so you can call this phone number and it will go through to that IVR. And that's it, your IVR is, is set up. It's a fairly simple setup and there is a lot that you can do with IVRs. If there are additional questions, please reach out to support at kixie.com and we're happy to help with, with anything you need related to this. I hope you have a great day and I hope this video was helpful and we will talk with you soon. Thank you.